Okay, it's time for the news from my lovely motherboard. I love my motherboards. I love my floppy drives. I like all of it. My keyboard is so fun to play with. It's wonderful. Today in the news, in the Atlanta Journal, Dan Whittakind tells us how to buy a computer. And you know what he says? The same thing I've been telling you for eight years. Make a list of things you want to be able to do with your computer. Go to the computer store and find programs or software that runs what you, does what you want it to do. And now, go in and find out what the minimum requirements are. And then buy a little bit more to make sure it works. Well done. Thanks. We'll bring you the hat. Because, Don, we agree with you 100%. That's how you buy a computer. Now, this is the news. One of the things that's predominant in Info World, which is an insider magazine. Oh, I love these drives. Oh, they're close to my heart. IBM slashes prices, others to follow suit. Well, why'd they slash prices? Well... They're dropping prices on Pentium chips from the manufacturer, Intel. So coming in uh, January, February, March of next year, the machines that you would buy right now for $1,700 to $2,000 will cost around $900 to $1,000. They will be half the price. So if you really don't need to buy a computer today, which is uh, November, then I suggest that in February or March of next year, you can buy the same machine for half the price. Not a bad deal, if you don't ask me. Now, and I don't suggest that you do ask me, look at my keyboard. Isn't it nice? I love to stroke my keyboard. Feels so good. Yeah. All right, and here's my bookmark. Bug goes unswatted in Service Pack 2.0. Has anybody ever heard of Service Pack? I have no idea. Spider Tools, tool speeds database, web connections. I don't know who this is written for. I've been doing computers for 25 years. I have no idea what they're talking about. Here's a name you can't pr pronounce. Another one that you can't pronounce. A guy, two guys. This guy has got my mask. Can you get, can you get a picture of this guy's mask? Look at him. He's got my nose. He took my nose. There it is. Look. Bubba's nose. I want it back. Bring it back today. This is the news. What's on the news? Okay. Is it Espresso or OS2 Warp Connect? Well, let me tell you, if you don't know the difference between a software program and Espresso, whew, I don't know why you're reading this magazine. Good ad. Okay, here's a review of a whole bunch of different programs. Configure end-user environment. Is that something we want to do? Does anybody even know what they're talking about? One of the major problems with the entire computer industry is nobody knows what they're talking about, including the computer people, which is why they never read the instructions and they don't read the manual. I think a good idea is to have more Bubba shows all over the world. Here's from the editor-in-chief of InfoWorld. Her name is Sandy Reed. Our new review section means more useful, timely product evaluations for you. Now, I have a friend of mine who was a, uh, the lead tester in the labs for Network, uh, Net, NetWorld's uh, labs. And what he told me was they would go out and they would test a program, and then three or four or five or six months later, they find out that everything that they thought about the program was untrue. But a retraction was never printed because when it comes to computer software, you can go a year before you find out what really happens with the program. So it's really important that a, a off-the-shelf test that just puts it through its paces for 20 minutes in a test lab has really no bearing whatsoever on uh, how the program's actually going to do the job for you. So you need to be careful of that. Now, that's some of my news, okay? So just remember, if you look for stuff, uh, a computer to buy, and you can wait a couple of months, you're right on the edge of them bringing out all the new processors, which means that all the existing ones are going to drop way down in price. I mean, we're talking $1,000 cheaper if you wait three or four months, three months. You know, you can't really stop that. Here's a great one. Bull and Babbage reaches out to Netware. Who cares? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Schedule managers move to Win95. Where is Win95? Okay, great. Who needs a scheduler? I mean, is everybody that busy? I guess they might be. Busier than me. Corel faces buggy software backlash. Terrific headline, guys. This is the news about computers. And you wonder why we're all geeks? Well, that's why. This is the news. That's why I love my computer parts. 
the cars. They don't talk back to me. This is my motherboard. Ah, I love my motherboard. Stroke my keyboard. Ah, I don't let anything get between me and my motherboard. Nothing gets between me and my keyboard. Oh, yeah.